Hi everyone, as you guys can see, you guys know what I'm about to open, even from the title, but this box right here is humongous. Like, I knew it was gonna be big just because of the size of the pictures and everything, but this box is probably my biggest one for scale figures other than the Belfine uh, Rengoku. So that one was big, but this was just as big too. Um, if you guys wanna get it, it's still available on Amiyami, it's like 59,000 yen, but the biggest thing is the shipping. So I don't remember the top of my head, but I know I had three options. It was EMS, I had DHL, and then Surface uh, Mail, I believe it was premium. So it was just those three options, at least in the United States. And it was a shocker for me how much it was gonna cost. I thought EMS was gonna be a little bit cheaper, but it turned out that EMS was 25,000 yen, something like that. DHL was actually 23,000 yen, and Surface Surface uh, Mail was about 11,000 yen. So they're super expensive, but I think it's still cheaper depending on where you buy it. I know Crunchyroll still has it for probably for like 680 bucks, 700 bucks, um, and I really wouldn't go with them. So pretty much I think you have like a few options that you can do is either buy it from country roll the way for the pre-orders get it from Miami Ami now um and pay crazy amount of shipping or you can probably wait and i think this will probably go down either from the pre-owned section or just in general uh because a lot of like the demon slayers jujutsu kaisen figures like go down in value even though this one is really cool um this might go down in price so if you guys want to risk it i might honestly do it if i didn't if i didn't buy this one already um, I did save up all my points, uh, from all of this. So I saved about like 7,000 yen. I know it's still a lot, but 7,000 yen for like shipping really was worth it. So, uh, I do want to show you guys cause it's so cool. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys are able to get it. I know, uh, it is probably one of the most expensive one out there, but from the pictures that I've seen since some openings and stuff like that, it do really does look great. So hopefully um you guys are able to get it but i really am excited probably i don't know where exactly i'm gonna put it probably on top just because this one's gonna be a lot bigger than in normal so i'll try to see if it fits in the detolf and i'll let you guys know but it's unless you can modify it i and which i usually don't but i will try to put it up top but i'll let you guys know if this will fit into a detolf so i really want to show you guys how this figure looks I usually don't show you guys when I'm about to put it together. I usually just put it together because it's a long process, but because there's only Rika, Yuta, his sword, and just this instructions, I figured why not? So you guys can see it's really big. Rika is really a lot bigger than I thought she was gonna be. Uh, so we're gonna slowly, I do like that they always have it protected. And that is always gonna be something that I want. And you guys can tell so far, I don't see any marks or anything like that. So they did a really good job at like protecting it. So let me try to get this out. And it is heavy, it really is. Ooh. Okay. So I'm just gonna put all this just throw it over here. And then Utah, I did look at Utah. I don't know how I feel about it. So if you guys haven't seen them yet, I will show you guys. Um, I don't know, like he looks a little pale, uh, at least close up. Um, I don't know, like it's, it's, it's a love-hate relationship right now. Maybe if I like see him together, uh, then maybe, but let's see, I don't know. Okay, there is a spot, which is weird. I don't know if you guys can see, look at this, like his shoe, I get it. It's supposed to be in Enrica, but like, it just looks weird with his shoe, without his shoe. So, but anyways, like his shoe does look cool. I do like that color. Um, and there's just this hole right here in the middle. And let's see if it even fits. It doesn't even fit. So, it says, Oh, you have to slide that in first and then it goes. I was trying to put the other leg first and then that's what makes it stay. 
There you go. So you're supposed to slide in the foot. This tells you to, but you're supposed to slide in the foot first to make it easier. And then he's able to stay. Just press it in a little bit harder. And then there you go. So the next thing is just going to be the sword. Um, maybe it comes off. No, it doesn't. So let's see if it just can go straight in. Like everything else. Okay, and there you go. Look, I don't think there's anything else. Yep, so this one looks great. I'm just gonna hold it up real quick so you guys can see it. But this looks amazing for Rika. Utah, I'm, I'm still questioning it. I don't know, I know it's a one seventh. I still think it should be a little bit bigger. It might actually fit in this. It's not as tall, I guess. I was thinking about it just wouldn't fit. Maybe it's just the width. But it is heavy, so I'm scared that I will put it and then it'll eventually break. So I'm still going to put it up top. I'll probably move my Ancient Magus Bride down here and put the other Yuta one uh, right next to it. But this turned out great. I love the details with the teeth with Rika. It really does have a lot of like just emphasis on the sharpness of the teeth because it really is sharp. Like if you put your finger on it it really is sharp so uh, it just looks great i love that it has that mouth open because it probably could have just had it closed or something but I, it does pull in how scary rika is in this form because when you fight fight these uh fight these like it's it's scary enough so um another thing that they're able to do i think is like this this these nails right here uh turned out great i thought that they weren't really gonna put much detail on it because, it, but I guess when you get delayed like six months, they better put some extra detail. So it turned out cool. I love um, this back right here with the color, um, as you guys can see, it's heavy, um, back here. And then it just goes down to um, the base. And I really do hope that this is gonna be my last use to Kaiser figure, which I think it is. Like I. I don't think that I'll be buying any more. Maybe the statues that come out, but I don't know. But yeah, his his base, everything. Um, I always love bases that are not basic, and this one is not basic at all. It just flows out really well, and it just it just does a good one. But I do want to show you guys uh, Utah up close, as you guys can see, like the white is. Or his 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 face is is very white compared to what I thought. It's been a while since I've watched the movie. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, have watched it recently. Let me know if his if he's actually that pale. I know he like hardly ever sleeps, so like his face looks all like sleepy and stuff like that. But I never thought his face was that white. But I like his stance. I love that he's able to have still have his sword and he's like summoning Rika. But I don't know. It just. It just something's off about him probably it's the face but maybe i will learn to love it maybe later on and then just seeing it next to other ones but yeah this turned out great it is a one seventh so i'm pretty sure it's a one seventh for yuta and rika because rika probably is supposed to be a lot bigger and she isn't so um it turned out great this was like I said, man, it's been a while. Uh, it's still early in the morning, so I'm still trying to, to get ready. But yeah, I I really do think that my purchase on this one is good. If you guys do want it, I'd probably wait. Honestly, I don't think this is going to go crazy in the aftermarket for, for these figures. But I mean, if you guys really want it, I'd go for it. But this, this really turned out great. I'm hoping that uh, they're maybe able to do a lot more cooler scale figures for Jujutsu Kaisen for season two, since it comes out probably here in a few weeks. Um, but if they don't, that's fine. This is like I said, this will probably be my last one, um, especially because how much this costs. It really hurt me, um, especially because I could probably buy another statue um, or a decent one for, for the price. But yeah, this turned out great. And you just get a closer look, beautiful, so. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I uh, made you guys decide what you want to do with this one. If you want to buy, if you want to hold, if you want to wait, it just, it just depends on what you guys want to do, but hopefully this video helped. And 
I will be having more videos coming up soon. Another statue showed up, so you guys will be able to see that one. So thank you guys for watching. Until next.